Uh, this in the in the Korean traditions, no? the, according to the tradition and the Korean says, and this is very particular about the Korean people because we don't know we don't know about whether we are the lost tribe or not. But there are, maybe there are some people who would, who would try to trace that we are one of the lost tribe or something like that. But if we study the the story or the history of the Korean people carefully, uh, historically this is we Korean people came came from came from what you call the Mesopotamia. Eh? Uh, it is like the uh, same place where, or same time like Abraham left uh, Ur. Eh? Mm. And the Kren people also, they, they are moving from there. Because, and then slowly and slowly they came down to to Mongolia, and Mongolia and then to Southeast Asia here, eh? to Thailand, Burma, and like that. So, so our calendar, our years is 2000. Uh, 742 this year. We we started counting it the year when we arrived. We arrived in uh, Burma, eh? and we we have a Kran have the tradition of Kran. We the Kran people. We are not uh, of course uh, idiots, no? You know, we are we are people having a sense of uh, knowing God. No? We even the story of the Great Flood and all these uh, kind. No? concept of knowing God and uh, worshipping God. Even uh, we call many of the, the people that we call as enemies, eh? mm-hmm. spirit worshippers of the... But when we try to trace the Kran uh, from the very beginning, the way they worship, even though it is uh, can classify with uh, the animistic elements, but it is very similar to the way the people worship God in, in the Old Testament. Eh? With offering and all like that. Aside from that, they have the story of uh, the lost book. Huh? The cramp people, according to the tradition, they have the God has given them the books, the golden books, huh? uh, and golden or silver books. Huh? They call it Li Tu Li Se. Li Tu Li Se Li Pai Yua. It's, it's the book of God. Huh? So it is, it is lost. Huh? According to the d- tradition, the brother who get the, who get the, the the letter the letter book from God, you know, when when you know when they got this this golden book, and then they they are they are farmers, not doing the tradition of farming in in, in their, their own field, yeah. and then they put the book on the on the track of the tree, and then they work, and then they finally finally when they came back and they. They found out that uh, the boat is already eaten by, eaten by the white ants. You know, mm-hmm. no, it's already destroyed by the fire. But when they look at it, they they notice that this is the not the book that uh, God gave them. Hmm? So they know that this is the brother, the white brother, have uh, changed, no? Ch- changed the, the the golden book, and taken the golden book and now place uh, instead the leather one, which is eaten by the the white ants. Hmm. So traditionally, they believe that one day will, uh, a day will come when the white brother will bring back that golden book, the book of God. Huh? So when the when the missionaries you know, came to Burma with the Bible in their hands, with golden uh, what you call it, uh, coded on the, on the back, yeah, because oh yeah, this is a golden book. Huh? And then when they started sharing the gospels and now talking about God and you know, the God, the Creator and God who came to see say people and all like that. Uh, these are very familiar. No? Talk to them about God and all that. So many Kran became uh, Christian, uh, became uh, new converts and they became Christians. And our first Kran convert, a uh, Kran among our Kran people who became uh, Christians, uh, Putavyu, Kotavyu, it's already 175 years. So Christianity came to uh, our Kran people 175 years ago. We already have our Bible 150 years ago. We have uh, we celebrate the coming of uh, Adoniram Jason, the first missionary to Burma. Uh, it is 190 years. He came here in 1813.